Yee! Hey guys, oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tiffany and I'm the owner of Tiffany Green Cosplay LLC, which is a company that focuses on costume and prop fabrication as well as education. And today I have a really great surprise for you as we're gonna be making female breastplates. But we're not gonna just be making one, not two, not three, we're gonna be making four female breastplates today. And these are specifically size small, but I do plan on expanding into larger sizes as well as doing male ones. So make sure to let me know in the comments what size you are interested in so I can work on those next. But before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel as I would love to have you as part of our cosplay building community. So let's begin. And as I said, there are four female breastplate patterns and these are all size small and I have them available individually on my website, tiffanygordoncosplay.com, or you can buy the bundle and save some money and get all four. And what you'll need for making any of these four breastplates is four millimeter HD foam, Sharpies, a cutting mat, as well as an X-Acto knife, contact cement glue, and a respirator. And I'll have linked all these in the description. Now, how to make pattern number one. Once you've got on your pattern, you will want to print it out and then trace each piece onto four millimeter HD foam with a Sharpie, as well as don't forget to label each part as this is gonna tell you which part attaches to what. Then grab your X-Acto knife and your cutting mat and start to cut each of these pieces out. And when you're done, all of the pieces should look like this. Then all of the parts that are labeled, you will want to apply contact cement glue and then wait for the glue to fully dry before starting to assemble each piece. And I started off with the two cup parts and you're going to want to attach part B to itself as well as part E to itself. Then continuing to make the cup size, attaching C to D, and then attaching B to the C D shape, and repeat this for the other side. Now that the two cups are made, you can then attach it to the waistband, followed by attaching the two cups to the center, and that will complete pattern number one of our female breastplates. Now for pattern number two. Again, you're going to want to trace all of your parts onto four millimeter HD foam and then make sure to label each piece. Next, you're gonna wanna grab your X-Acto knife and cutting mat and cut out each of the pieces. And when you're done, all the pieces should look like this. Next, grab your contact cement glue and you're gonna apply the glue to all of the labeled edges and you will want to wait for the glue to fully dry before starting to attach the parts together. Starting with our cup pieces, you're going to want to attach part C to itself as well as part F to itself. Then you're gonna want to connect parts D and E together, as well as parts G and H together. And then when those two parts are connected, then we will attach those to the correlating C and F parts to complete each cup. Then you will connect each cup to the waistband, followed by connecting the two cups together. And the last part for this breastplate is attaching the bottom section, which is A, to the waistband of B to complete your female breastplate pattern number two. On to pattern number three. For this female breastplate, you're going to want to print out the pattern and then trace it onto four millimeter HD foam, as well as don't forget to label all of the parts. After that, you're going to want to cut out each of the parts using an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat. And when you're done, all of the pieces should look like this. Next, you're gonna grab your contact cement glue and you're gonna apply it onto all of the labeled sections. You will want to wait for the glue to fully dry and then we can start assembling the parts. Starting off, with the cup sections and this is going to be c and f and you will want to attach them to their selves then moving up with the cup you're going to want to attach f to g as well as c to d and then finishing them off you will be attaching e to it as well as h to it to finish each individual cup then you will attach each cup to part B, which is the waist piece, as well as the cups will attach to each other in the center. And for the back sections, these are gonna be part A and I, and you will want to attach them to themselves first, and then you can attach them to the front section of B. 
The last step for completing this breastplate is you're going to want to attach the top sections to close them off, and that will complete your female breastplate pattern number three. And last but not least is our female breastplate pattern number four. And I will say this one is the most complicated out of them, but it's still pretty easy to assemble. And just like all of these female breastplate patterns, you will want to trace the patterns onto four millimeter HD foam. Again, make sure to label each piece, followed by cutting them out using an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat. And all of your pieces, when they're cut, should look like this in the end. Now for a Assembling, and you're gonna want to use contact cement glue and you're gonna apply this glue onto all of the labeled edges and you will want this glue to fully dry before starting to assemble your parts together. Starting off with the cup sections, these are gonna be parts H and G and you will want to attach them to their selves. And continuing upwards of the cup, you will attach the correlating piece to the bottom cup section, which is F to G and I to H. Then finish off by attaching the correlating piece of E and J to complete each cup. Then you're going to attach them to the waist section, which is going to be part B, and finishing off by connecting each of the cup sections from E and J together. And this pattern also has a slight skirt part and you will want to attach parts A to M. And then when those are connected, you will connect those to the waist section of B to finish off the front section of this breastplate. And now for the back sections, and these are gonna be D and K. And again, you're going to want to attach them to themselves first, followed by attaching their skirt piece, which should be C to D as well as K to L. Then just attach your two back pieces to your front piece on the sides. And then to finish them off, you will want to connect the top parts that go over the shoulders to complete your female breastplate number four. And that guys is how to make all four of my size small female breastplates and I hope you found this video helpful and make sure to let me know in the comments what size I should make next for both male and female so I can start making them. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. A big thank you to all of my company sponsors here on YouTube as well as all of my members specifically those legendary members, as y'all financially help to support me so I can continue doing this as my full-time job and my main source of income. And I'll see you for our next tutorial. Much love, guys.